jo in lane one, that is Jonathan Pollock. Sorry, that was mine from the Nation's Capital Swim Club. My bad there. Philip Manoff, you see in lane two, also from NCAP. And Sean Conway in lane three. Shameless plug, interview, chickswimmingworld.com, check it out. <laughs> Casey Storch, who we've seen on the breaststroke events, he won the 200 breast and he won the 100 last night. He's in lane four, your top seed at 429.33. Daniel Jennis from Machine Aquatics, as is Storch at 429.44, was your number two seed. Tyler Zuyas from NCAP in lane six. Jason Lauser in lane seven from Long Island. And Dylan Porges from the Asphalt Green Unified Aquatics in lane eight. Storch, look at that tempo from Storch, yeah. yeah. Storch and Zeus going out. Zeus might actually have the early lead on him. But both those guys going out there way ahead of the rest of the field. Yeah, it'll be it'll be Zeus at first. Yeah, 23-3-7, wow. Philip Manoff going with them as well in lane two. This is an event um, that I think is at least at the collegiate level, just going to get so much faster. I think that's going to trickle down all the way down in the age group level. It just has on some levels. Right, from Zane Grothy. Zane Grothy, week. right. Just, well, just, I think because of that, I think Zane Grothy. Others uh, will, he goes fast, others will fall. Exactly. I, I, I wrote a piece on it, actually, I think last week about Zane Grothy reviving American distance swimming. Not necessarily that it was dead, just it's kind of going through a little bit of a lull, and now. Hot take alert. Yeah, you know. Little shameless plug, I guess. You've been, you've been plugging away all night at your interviews. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug away at the at the articles. Oh no, I just meant that that's a hot take. Oh, that right. Zane oh, Grothy right, right, is single-handedly right. gonna save American distance swimming well, as Manoff takes the lead at 116.63. Remember, we gotta call the race. You're right. You're Zuyas right. and then Pollock. The Storch is in fourth. Can't get into too heated of debates. We could, but we'd lose all our viewers. We would lose we all our that. viewers. No. We do not want that. We want you all to continue watching us. For those of you who might have joined us late, Jason Tillotson, I'm David Reeder. Um, here at the nation's capital invite in College Park, Maryland. It's snowing outside, snow on the ground outside. Uh, I don't know if it's still snowing, but there is snow on the ground. Yeah. I was concerned we were being invaded by aliens when I was here this morning. I haven't actually seen snowfall in a while. Oh, wow. Um, so I was thinking it was like. an alien invasion. Yeah. But they tell me that we are not being invaded by aliens and we're all safe. <laughs> I live in Phoenix, guys. Come on, it doesn't snow there very often. <laughs> And I like that, actually, a lot. Storch trying to make his move, but it's a battle for second with Pollock, Storch, and Zuyas. Manoff still out front, though. Manoff out front, 210-69 at the halfway point. He's another one that just wait, doesn't necessarily... He just waits on that arm. It waits out there where the left arm kind of leaves it and lingers. A little bit of a lope, which, yeah. is not, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, Michael Phelps swam like that, the greatest of all time. Wouldn't call him the greatest freestyler of all time, but he's certainly the greatest swimmer of all time. <laughs> Ooh, all right. I, I wasn't sure where you're going with that. I was like, David, come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not yeah. going to make any hot takes like that. <laughs> I was going to say, come on. I don't think you can really say who is the greatest freestyler of all time. I think you'd have to go by distance. You have to go with a guy like... The Alexander Popovs of the world. Yeah. The Grant Hackett's of the world. I'd say Grant. Popov, Thorpe, and Hackett, Hackett are probably could collectively are the greatest freestylers of all time. Yeah, maybe Same. Kieran Perkins in there with an honorable there, yeah. mention. He's up there. There's several that are up there. Von and yeah. Bond's up there. Yeah. Um, Mark Spitz, right? Uh, yeah, know? even, yeah. You can, you can go back a long way, but yes. Up there right now is Manoff still. Ah, there we go. I like the transition. <laughs> Followed by Zeus in lane six there. And a third is... Jenis, maybe? Uh, Pollock. No, excuse me, Storch in four. He's yeah, Storch not Storch coming making on. his move yeah. with 100 left. Manov at 331.66. He, I will definitively say that he will get under three at 430. Even though Jason oh, was wrong about that in the last heat, Manoff is going to get under 430. I think we can see it for sure. And I think battle for second and third between Pollock and Conway. Storch still there. 
Storch making his move, trying to move up on Zeus. But Manoff gets the bell. Again, the sweetest Four. sound in distance swimming. In the final heat of the 500 here, 4, 338.86. Zuyas at 402.99 and Storch is third at 40, 403.74. And look at, <coughs> excuse me, look at the kick on this last hundred, on this last 50. Moving into third is Conway. That's Sean Conway in lane three. Conway really making a run here. Manoff will get the win for second. It's going to be Conway who comes out of nowhere on this last 50 in 428.92 to get second. 425.78, your winning time for Philip Manoff. Conway had a 24-64 on that last 50 split. He came home like a train. Next That's fast. Good. Yeah, it was very good, very good.